Wow. It could be that we're looking at an alpha male. I'm getting a heat signature. In a position to protect a female and their young. Look at this. It's moving right now. Oh. Right there, right there. Look at this. Uh, guys, what is that? Please, it's right on the water's edge, and the signature is getting bigger. There's something there, and it's reflecting off the water. Seriously, what is that? From the spotting of strange footprints and tracks that point to the fact that the legendary crypt was in this wild forest, to traveling up to the dangerous regions of the Alaskan wilderness, so that we can finally put an end to all this mystery here. Here's how Mara Mayer just made a terrifying discovery thanks to Expedition. Bigfoot alright guys it looks like the guys from Expedition Bigfoot are out here searching for our favorite legendary crypt again then again when has there ever been a time in which somebody hasn't been searching for Bigfoot for centuries even before the Americas were colonized the inhabitants of North America have always been aware of this legendary giant creature that has evaded humanity up until the point where people still question whether or not this creature is actually real sure. We've had evidence of some sightings in recent decades but all these videos and photos have been dubious in nature while those who told stories of seeing this hairy mammoth of a creature soon found that people figured that their tails were way taller than the creature that they swore they had just encountered you can see why even today we're eager to come to terms with the truth when it comes to the proof that bigfoot is real went into the the woods with a 16 millimeters camera and stumbled on bigfoot will there ever be persuasive proof that bigfoot exists what would happen if they ever got to explore all the spots where these sightings occurred the Bigfoot expedition team has gone on a quest to cover all corners of North America in order to discover the truth about this legend one interesting encounter the expedition Bigfoot team had was when they came across this strange entity when they were exploring one of the dense forests in North America you could actually see them in the middle of the night with their torches as they made their way through the harsh terrain of the forest Desperately hoping that tonight was the night that they would prove that Bigfoot was real set and raring to go the team was alert to every sound that was made in the forest whether it was a cricket chirping in the middle of the night or whether it was this evasive myth that was watching the men make their way through the dead of night thankfully some members of the team were armed with their their imaging equipment thanks to these state of the art devices Russell and Mark were able to make their way through the forest to the point where there was even a good chance that they could get a clear photo of this fabled beast understandably one can see how the pair scanned the area with their cameras even if it was just a slight chance they hoped that they would capture something that was of interest amazingly enough it took only a little amount of time to pick up something that was truly amazing and frightening at the same time to the expedition bigfoot team you suppose that is holy what is that it's emanating a lot of heat whatever it is right away and we had a pretty good size heat signature on it this came in the form of a heat signature that was picked up on a tree that was located on the far side of the forest that tree is red hot right there on that tree right there obviously this was an intense moment for the team as they looked to hone in on what they had just picked up with their equipment interestingly enough it was almost as though they could make out the creature's eyes and face with their cameras maybe this was due to the intense heat signatures that those Features were giving off while being recorded by the camera as much as we'd have hoped for more the team found that they were confused by the situation that they found themselves in as they tried to regain their composure so that they could make sense of their current situation they began to believe that there was definitely something that was hiding from them in the woods soon they started considering all the possibilities. As the noise did not match the sound of a beaver and some of the other rodents that could be found in them. Forrest the team came to the conclusion that they were dealing with something extraordinary that was hiding in the darkness as the team was trying to make some more sense of this situation they soon found themselves in a state of shock as they realized realized that this creature that they were tracking had suddenly made its way to a tree that loomed high above them this cannot be good the team was probably left in a state of shock. But just as they were about to scramble away they realized that the creature had run off just as quickly as it probably jumped over them that large heat trace is fading quickly which means that it was just there that thing was right up in that tree and we were sitting right there once they were able to gather their senses the team once again tried to come to terms with what they had just experienced considering that it was such a cold night they had to agree that the temperature made it odd for any creature to climb that high up a tree like the creature that they had just spotted despite the unlikelihood of the matter However you couldn't convince any of these guys to dismiss what they had just seen to be something like a trick of the mind then there was the heat trace that was left by the creature on the tree which proved that there there was definitely something up there what it was we just do not know but best believe. 
that the Expedition Bigfoot team wasn't going to stop until they found out eager to get to the bottom of the mystery of the creature in the woods the team advanced into the pitch black forest. This may have been the right or the wrong decision depending on what camp you're on because soon the team realized they were all feeling that all too familiar feeling that something was definitely out there with them in the forest while they came to terms with such an uneasy feeling the team came across this triangle that was formed by these upside down trees somewhere in the middle of the forest this and the discovery of the abandoned logging site somehow added to the grim sentiments in the camp maybe it was because bryce's return to the logging site could have hinted that there was something of a connection between the accidents and the strange disappearances that keep happening on the island well it probably didn't help that Bryce's suspicions of the matter became even more intense when he visited the logging site this was probably due to the strange coincidence of locations and happenings in recent times as such there may have been a time when they ignored legitimate evidence of Bigfoot's existence and even location eager not to let this be a repeat of what may have been desperate times the team was hellbent on finding any clues that would give them the ability to solve this crazy mystery eager to get to the bottom of this mystery Bryce dragged the team to the now empty location in the hope that they'd find some evidence that wasn't picked up by the police when they were last there as much as they'd have loved to continue with their work in peace the team had to deal with the fact that they still weren't alone as they tried to go along with their mission despite this feeling of being watched all Bryce had to do was overcome the eerie silence and emptiness that the location was giving off hopefully he'll have the mental fortitude to pull this off if they were going to find the evidence that they needed to prove that this majestic creature truly roams the forests of the United States of America and Canada eager to achieve this Bryce knew that he had to take his investigation to the exact area of the work site because that work site had somehow gone uninvestigated as such Bryce made his way along areas of the work site such as the river so that he could find any proof such as DNA footprints and even tracks of things that may have been stolen by Bigfoot soon the team found themselves by the riverbed this proved to be the location of some developments because this was when they found something totally unexpected this came in the form of a hot spot which was revealed by the team's thermal imaging equipment excited the team realized that this creature must have just made its way through this area now they know that whatever they were following into the forest was close by surely with each step they could only get closer in proving that Bigfoot was real now one would think that the eerie nature of the forest at that point in time would have put some of the guys off as they marched deeper and deeper into the forest but not these guys tonight they were going to find the proof that will finally convince everyone that Bigfoot was real maybe all they had to do was follow this heat signal that was left behind by this strange creature they had come across while they were wandering through the forest as you can. Imagine the team found that they were getting more excited as they marched on you could tell that they were thrilled by the sounds they were hearing in the forests as they went on they didn't care about the risk of coming across something that may prove to be too much of a challenge for them to them the ultimate goal was to come away with that conclusive piece of proof that the legend of Bigfoot was more than a legend. As they continued to go deeper into the forest however the team found that they may have let their minds wander a little. Too much this was because they soon began to wonder about what else they could find in these woods think about it if it isn't Bigfoot that they were tracking would they be happy if what they found was way more dangerous than the hairy bipedal creature as the team pondered on the possibilities of what else they may come across as they wandered through the forest it became clear that they were beginning to panic as the clock wound down on their time there perhaps the most burning question still remained this what left that heat signature in. The tree sure it may end up disappointing them but could it be an owl that was perched up on a tree like they usually do it could also be some sort of rodent that was just trying to evade the predators that lurk around in the night after all who said Bigfoot could climb trees as they tried to make sense of what was going on the team still couldn't help. But think about the wide varieties of things that they may end up discovering while they were still in the forest on that fateful night as such. They knew that they must gather their senses if they were going to make the most of this opportunity to put an end to the mysteries surrounding Bigfoot hopefully they can do so before it's too late well they'd find that every day spent on this quest to find Bigfoot was a day of new challenges and milestones as they made some very important discoveries this was probably due to the fact that the team and their researchers had spent weeks making a detailed analysis of the remote mountainous forests that could be found in the northern regions of California thanks to 
This they were able to come across some rather remarkable evidence that Bigfoot may have been in the region in recent times what could this evidence be you may ask this evidence came in the form of two large nests that were found hidden deep within the tall trees and the deep greenery that was found in the mountainous forest of North California before long the team started scanning through these nests. And that is when they found some rather interesting hair in the mix initially the team thought. These must have come from some local. Wolves that were found in the area however everything changed when analysis of the hair revealed something that was truly frightening these hair did not belong to wolves in in fact they couldn't tell what sort of animal could have produced such hair maybe just maybe this could be a key piece of evidence that could prove that Bigfoot was really out there lurking through the forests of the US and Canada as fascinating as these discoveries. Or it may excite you Bigfoot enthusiasts to hear that. These were not the only discoveries that were. Made while they were out there not only did the team find those nests and the hair that were found on them they also came across a witness who gave them accounts of forest workers who fled in terror after hearing some rather unusual cries while working in the forest creepy hunt perhaps the most frightening part of this account was that the screams were said to sound like the screams of a woman as crazy as this may sound this must have been extra scary because there weren't any women along with the crew of Workers that fled the scene eager to get some more evidence to support what they had just experienced the team headed out to the Prince of Wales Island a hot spot for Bigfoot sightings in the state of Alaska maybe it was because this harsh terrain had become a popular spot for encounters with our mythical crypt it is here that one could get recent accounts of such encounters rather than tales or historical reports that were usually revealed elsewhere eager to make the most of their trip out. There the team decided to focus all their efforts. On a 60,000 acre of land that was located on a remote mountain 8 kilometers away from the job site as the team began to make plans for their Bigfoot sightings the team was not surprised about this place being such a popular place of interest turns out these people could have relied on experience and anecdotal accounts that may have been passed down from generation to generation. Because these stories have been told around these parts for a long time now maybe it is because the Bigfoot may have been part of a Native American folklore system. That gives the creatures in their woods supernatural attributes that said it makes us think about why Bigfoot seem to have been spotted in this region so often one school of thought seems to think that this may be due to the fact that Bigfoot is actually a lot more hostile and aggressive than we may have thought either way they were going to have to make their way through these woods with caution. Because although there may be a dangerous Bigfoot out there there are definitely a lot of animals in the woods that were also just as dangerous if not more even without having to worry about the risk of dangerous creatures being out there the team still had to deal with some troubles of a different nature while they were wandering around in the woods in search of Bigfoot while they were having to worry about wild animals for example they also had to deal with having to make their way through the dangerous paths that they found in the Alaskan forests. Watching them plod on one can see how this team was determined to power through their mission to prove that Bigfoot does exist sure tales of strange animals have been told from one generation to the other especially by the people who called this region their home for many centuries but maybe there is some truth in the Native American lore which suggests that creatures like Bigfoot are otherworldly beings considering how hostile these creatures are said to be it may be difficult to confirm these legends eager to find the truth however the team continued with their journey into the forest before. Long the team found themselves at an Alpine Lake that was located just two kilometers from the base of Grey Mountain this could prove to be an interesting development because Grey Mountain is considered to be one of the known hiding spots for Bigfoot considering the fact that there is limited access to the area it appeared that the lake was going to be the best route that the team could use to explore the area but first they were going to have to set up their camp for the night. After setting up this camp in an area close to the coast Rani and Mara decided that they were going to go and Explore the mountainside that was the closest to the work site as this went on Russell decided that he might as well carry out a survey of the other side this left Bryce to direct the activities from outside the target zone hopefully this plan would help the guys as the entire group made their way into the Alaskan wilderness in the hopes that they would be the ones who finally get that much needed evidence that proves that Bigfoot is real with any luck their state of the art equipment would prove to be a real difference when it comes to 
This hunt that is why they cannot get enough of their customized drone that comes with an advanced gas sensor what would they use that for you might ask well initially the customized drone was an EOLI designed to pick up gas leaks and pipelines following some work it looked like the drone was now able to unearth some very persuasive evidence that Bigfoot was real apparently they were looking for the smells of chemicals that could be emitted by skunks whip dogs decaying meat and worst of all feces once they find key elements in these Things known as volatiles they could help the team develop key proofs that would aid the team in their mission to prove that the legendary creature is truly out there while the teams head out in the separate mission areas Russell came across a river that flows eastward as Russell explored this area the rest of the guys used the drone to see where gases consistent to that which could be released by Bigfoot were spotted as Maria. Studied some of these gas samples Russell studied an animal skin. Like material that he found while it was. Hanging from a tree of all places who left that there despite having to endure the bad weather and the fear of carnivorous wildlife that lurked around in the area it is clear that the team was determined to do all they could do so that they could find clear evidence that Bigfoot is roaming around in these parts as a result they explored the forest in the search of evidence such as footprints or tracks or any other thing as a matter of fact. That would say yes Bigfoot was definitely here well as. They do so the team was. Wary of the dangerous bears that were found in the area that explains the presence of the security personnel that was found with the rest of the team I guess that shows how risky this mission was especially when the team entered into a dangerous region of the Alaskan wilderness that is known for the strange events that take place there were talking about the sighting of entities such as Bigfoot's white cousin the Yeti sighting anything in these parts is possible and as such one can see how such a place adds to the legend of these. Legendary creatures as time goes on the team will surely come across something that would put an end to this mystery that has been going on for many centuries if it isn't the sighting of the actual creature it could be some footprint or a track that may have been left behind by the legendary crypt let's see if anything could ever be confirmed by Expedition Bigfoot from the spotting of strange footprints and tracks that point to the fact that the legendary cryptid was in this wild forest too. Traveling up to the dangerous regions of the Alaskan wilderness so that we can finally put an end to all this mystery here's how Mara Mayer just made a terrifying discovery thanks to to Expedition Bigfoot.